Hello everyone, welcome to Back to Basics. Today we're gonna to be making homemade dog food. For this recipe, the things that you will need are ground turkey, salmon, string beans, shredded carrots, white rice, and one sweet potato. As you can see, I have some of the things in front of me and now we can begin our preparation. At the moment, I am boiling two cups of water to one cup of white rice. I'm going to pour the white rice into the boiling water and make sure that it's fully saturated and lower the temperature to low to allow the rice to cook fully. I've also taken the time to rinse down the string beans and the carrots that are going to go into the food processor. I have a small Maltese and that's the reason why I'm placing these veggies into the food processor so that I can pulsate them down so that he can easily process these vegetables when I'm making his meals. As you can see, it doesn't take much to break down these vegetables, maybe two or three pulsations and you're all set. And then you can place these veggies to the side and move on to the next item. I placed the sweet potato in our pressure cooker and it is nice and tender to the touch and ready to be mixed in with the vegetables. I just placed everything that I pulsated into a large bowl and mixed it all together. And as you can see, I have the ground turkey and the minced salmon that I'm going to be making as his meat base. And now in a medium nonstick pan at medium to high heat, I am placing the chunks of ground turkey down so that I can fully cook this and prepare this lovely meal for my dog. Also, the white rice is now fully cooked and I am able to transfer this from the pot to the mixing bowl that harbors the string beans, the shredded carrots, and the sweet potato. One of the reasons white rice is a chosen grain for a dog is because it's easy to digest, quick to prepare, and low in fiber. So with that being said, I'm going to be mixing these items together to make a lovely medley of colors. Some of the things that you normally do not see in your regular standard packaged dog food. And I'm sure that my dog will enjoy this very much. Oh, and there we have it. His whiffer took off and now he's in here curious as ever, wondering what's going on in the kitchen. And buddy, it's for you. Also, I'm adding the bits of minced salmon into his meat because this is an added bonus that I'm going to be placing into my dog's meals moving forward. He loves salmon, he loves ground turkey, so why not just mix the both of them and let him enjoy a little bit of everything within every bite. Now that the salmon and the ground turkey is fully cooked, I can incorporate the rice and vegetables that I had set to the side earlier. I'm going to mix this completely and make sure that my dog can enjoy a little bit of everything within every bite. But before I conclude, I have to add a health supplement and I'm going to be adding some flaxseed oil. The anti-inflammatory properties of flaxseed oil can help ease symptoms of arthritis, lower blood pressure, improve kidney function, and maintain a healthy skin in coat and dogs. You can incorporate chopped or ground seeds or a small amount of free oil into your dog's regular food to promote optimal health. And that's exactly what I did. And now for the sake of plating, voila. One cup of healthy dog food. My dog is very excited. This is the first time that he's having a meal like this and this is gonna be the first of many. So I think he likes it. He gave me a cute little look like, is this for me? and then he just dug in. I think he's a happy camper, and I'm one too. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope that I gave you some great tips. Take care. Bye-bye.